welcome to Tuesday on the Fiscal Ranter Show. So today, the most important thing I have to talk to you about today is the train fare hike in Britain. Train fares today were hiked by 3.6% and this is the biggest hike in five years. I mean, there is a rip-off and then there's legal robbery and public transport prices in Britain right now are so legal robbery. British travellers have to pay the highest train fares in the entire continent and you think for the privilege of being ripped off every time we step on the train that our railways are actually really decent. See, I actually have first-hand experience of railways being completely terrible because when I was going to university I was travelling to London almost four times a week in my first year, three times a week in my second year and two times a week in my third year and I can tell you firsthand I can't remember a time when my train was actually on time I can't remember a time where we weren't slowed down because of signal failure I swear I still have nightmares because of signal failures and this problem is just going to get worse and worse with less trains on our tracks and less investment Three private companies putting the interests of private profits before passengers. This Tory government has been in power since 2010 and since 2010 train fares have hiked 32% from the last Labour government. 32% hike in train fares in seven years. That is absolutely astounding and that is absolutely complete disgraceful and this government is failing to stand up for our passengers. 32% hike in seven years is two times faster than the wages are going up. Any Tory government would happily put the interests of private profits before our public services. Because public services should not be for sale and they wouldn't be under Corbyn. Labour have a commitment in a manifesto to renationalise the railway so we can stop this from happening. And I cannot wait till Labour renationalise the railway because it's time to put passengers before profits, put train fares in line with inflation and wages and it's time to stop ripping off our passengers. Also, while I forget to mention, the minimum wage is not going in line with inflation, the cost of living is not rising with the line of inflation, and the cost of living is rising, and we are doing nothing about this. This government is doing nothing about this. This is not the strong and stable economy that we were promised, especially with inflation rising to 3.1%, which is a record high in this country. Wages have not kept up with bills, and the minimum wage is not livable anymore. More. When we came up with the idea of a minimum wage, it was supposed to be a wage that was livable and the minimum wage is not livable anymore. People working on a minimum wage cannot afford to live and this is not right. A minimum wage should be a living wage and it will be under labour of £10 an hour. The reality we are facing in Tory Britain is that working 40 hours a week sometimes is not enough. Working a full-time job sometimes is not enough and it should be. Sometimes your pay working 40 hours a week is not enough when you factor in bills, food, family costs and other stuff and it should be enough. People working 40 hours a week should be enough but it's not sometimes. People who work full time should not have to suffer at the end of the week. Ordinary people like you and me should not have to pay the price of Tory privatisation and have to bear the brunt of Tory cuts and Tory welfare changes that affect the working class people like you and me. I fear for the day that they will go after our healthcare. Oh wait. They already have Health and Social Care Act 2012. People who work in London should not have to fork over so much of their paycheck just to make it to and from work. It's almost getting to the point where some people living in areas like Crawley or other surrounding areas cannot afford to work in London because of low pay and because of the travel costs. So it's not even worth it working to London and this should not be the case. And you know what, even Crawley right now is becoming a more unaffordable place. A working class town which should be affordable to the many is not because of the housing crisis, of the rising crisis, cost of living and the houses that are being built here that are branded affordable by this government it's just not working this government is just totally not working we need to tackle the overcrowding in our trains we need to tackle the overcrowding especially in places like london on the tube and on peak time like 9 a.m before 9 a.m and after 5 p.m the peak times when people normally start and finish work we need to tackle this and before anyone blames immigration let me just explain to you only 8 million people in this country are foreign born my parents included and this population of this country is 65 million 
so it's not their fault. Now after My Hero, Caroline Lucas brought a bill to Parliament which would effectively renationalise the railways, which would effectively bring the railways back into public ownership, publicly accountable for our public. The Tory government actually pledged that they would freeze fares for five years, but obviously now there's this hike that has not happened. We all know that Tory election promises and Tory manifesto commitments and Tory pledges are not worth the paper they are written on. Also, I just want to point out that the railways in this country are becoming less safe because of cuts and because of less staff being available to cover the areas. So our railways are less safe under this Tory government, which is something that should never be. It can be dangerous to take a train if you're not careful, and we need the staffing to make sure our railways are safe, but this is not happening. It costs roughly £30 for a travel ticket for London on peak from my area i live in crawley i live 40 minutes away from like the major cities unlike the major train stations like london bridge victoria and it cost me 30 pounds to get a travel ticket to get to those areas for a day and that is absolutely ridiculous 30 pounds is a lot of money just to get to my capital city when i live 45 minutes away uk travelers pay one of the highest fees in europe as i've already mentioned and people traveling into london need to fork over over 13 percent of their paycheck while people in countries like france only have to fork out two percent of their paycheck because they have railways that are affordable and that are not owned by private companies and this is something that should happen in this country this is something that should happen elsewhere as well now i want to mention another personal story when i went to slough which is like an hour and a half only an hour and a half away when i went to slough to um chair one of the unite community southeast branch meetings i was asked to be the chair and i'm thankful that unite paid for my travel costs thank you but to get to slough from crawley was 40 pounds it cost me 40 well it cost unite 40 pounds to get me from my home to slough which is an hour and a half away, just, <laughs> I don't understand that. And then in other countries, you know how it costs to get to Milan, to Rome? It's £35. And you know how much it costs to get to London and Scotland? £125. Privatisation is not working. Okay, I have to admit, off-peak prices are somewhat affordable, and if off-peak prices were the on-peak prices, I probably wouldn't be complaining this much, but the fact is, they're not. Off-peak prices are slightly more affordable. I think that off-peak prices should be the going rate for trains before 9.20, which is a cutoff for on-peak and off-peak. Private companies have one interest, and that's asked to get the biggest profits they can, and shame on the Tory government for turning a blind eye while the private sector take apart our public services. British public services services should not be for sale they should be for the people who use them for the ordinary working class people who use them and they should be affordable and this is just not happening under this Tory government and this is the reality of Tory Britain selling off our public services and then charging us a fortune to use them again Tory government it won't always be like this one day we will live in socialism again but until then the working class go unmarked as in life and death well, I hope you enjoyed this little rant today on the train fare situation in Britain and I hope everyone enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Have a lovely day everybody. It's okay, I didn't like having money anyway. Take all my money, take all my money train companies.